Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, some of the miscellaneous smaller elements in Bootstrap. Okay, for example, well, for example, the pagination over here, the breadcrumbs, okay, and maybe even a list item like this. It all starts with creating an unordered list and then applying the right CSS class to it. So let's go back to your course files. Okay, let's start with blank.html and let's save it as UL. UL for unordered list. OL, of course, is ordered list with numbers. All right, now let's uh, go back to your course files. Let's get some snippets over here. And I'm going to take the basic grid. I'm just going to copy over the basic grid. I'm going to go back to ui.html. And as usual, going to make the fonts larger. I'm going to create a split preview window. Okay, and let's get rid of the default stuff over here. Okay, I'm going to maybe leave the first paragraph. And I'm going to replace the rest with the default uh, grid system. Okay. Now let's change this to 6 just to make it look better. All right. So now let's start creating a list. As with all unordered lists, you start with UL. Okay. And you end with a closing tag of UL as well. And for the list items, you start with li and you close that with, you close that as li as well. And now you can add some content over here. One, okay. Oh, let me just content here. And let me just copy this multiple times, okay, to have more content to work with. So, the basic unordered list structure is right here. And now let's start adding some bootstrap classes to it. Okay, the first example is to add the class of breadcrumb. Okay, and when you add the class of breadcrumb, automatically you can see the content is nicely uh, laid out in line in a form uh, to, to actually uh, look like there's some kind of progression. So you start here, you go here, and this is where you are right now. Okay, so very easy to use breadcrumb. There's one more thing missing here. In order to properly syntax this to make, to make it appear as if this is the content that you are viewing right now, we'd want to make the color of this slightly different. So you can go to li, the final li, and you can apply a class to it of active. And you can see the changes over here. So now this tells the visitor, I, I started from this page and I went to this page and now I'm here. Okay. So very easy to create breadcrumbs. Now let's get rid of all the additional classes. All right. So you have your basic list item uh, content over here. And now let's create uh, a, a list group. So to do that, you can apply the class of list group. All right. Now for this class, however, each list item also needs to have its own class. So the class for it will be list group item. Okay. So you can see the item nicely in here and let's copy that to the rest of it. And there you have your basic list group item. Very useful uh, to create a to-do list or to create any kind of list uh, on your website. All right, so as with list items as well, to tell the visitor the current item, you can apply the class to it of active. All right, so this tells me that I am, this is where I am, or this is the selection that I clicked on. Okay, and let's look at what other options are available uh, for a list group item. Let's go here and type in list group. Uh -huh. So we have list group item danger, list group item success, and those are 
some classes that you can apply, which is the same as the same classes as your buttons, etc. So it highlights this particular list item in green, and success is you know to show some kind of a, a process that happened that is successful, or you can apply danger to it, which basically tells users, hey, don't click on this. Okay, let's get rid of the list group item active. Okay, so now let's remove all the styling for the list group item. And let's see another way that you can use the basic unordered list with Bootstrap, which is to create pagination. All right, so the class for that will be UL uh, class equals to pagination. Apply that pagination once. All right, and you see your pagination items over here. All right, and what's missing over here is to make it into a link. Okay. Okay, now you have your pagina pagination item beautifully done over there. Let's copy this, replace this, replace this. All right, so you have your pagination item. Let me do another one. Okay, and you're gonna create previous. And here will be next. Okay, and you can add a font awesome class to it you can refer to the uh, lesson on font awesome f a arrow circle left let's do that all right and let's copy this to the next one change this to right mm -hmm. so here you have a very beautiful very simple to use pagination the users can just click on it make sure that the list items contain a link in order for the proper CSS classes to be applied now again with this you can always um, tell a user the current content that he is viewing or the current page that he's viewing by adding a list List item class active. All right, so when I'm looking at the pagination, I know that I'm here right now. I can click on previous, or I can click on this item, or I can click on next. Now, you can make the pagination larger by going to the main UL and after pagination space and type in pagination class large. And just like that you have a large pagination you can make it into a really tiny pagination as well by adding pagination small all right so with a basic list item as i've explained uh, in this video you can create breadcrumbs you can create uh, list groups with list items and you can also create pagination